13 love, 13 knowledge, 13 wisdom, 13 respect. This is your creation 13. Day of the Dead. Um, I've been really deep studying a lot of things this year. Um, and one of the things that uh, really caught my attention to pay attention to, caught my attention to pay attention to, was uh, Day of the Dead. Um, and it's a tradition, obviously, uh, that's gone on for a thousands of years um, and from the looks of it from my research it looks like it starts around the 27th or 28th all the way into almost about the 4th 4th or 5th of November which is quite interesting um, and it definitely uh, needs some further studying but um, this year was really interesting right because it's the 31st right now uh, we had a hunter's moon yesterday beautiful golden uh, moon very hypnotizing um, just very very different very different uh, but with this day of the dead you know there's so many stories and lore behind it that I really do feel that we lose touch with the importance or the significance of this time time frame between the 28th and like I said the 4th or 5th somewhere around there um, I feel that there is possibly an opening or a uh, an exchange a passing um, or maybe like I said you know what I mean by that is basically just like this is the time when when those who have passed this year wake up from sleep and then move on to the next life or get recycled you know um, they transition um, into the next phase uh, just based on stories and stuff it sounds like you know a lot of activity of ghosts and stuff are really awake around this time frame so it's really really interesting and how do we really um, deep dive into that because you know this is a global event day of the dead um, so there's a lot of traditions that are involved in it and I feel it's a huge importance that is underlooked because of all the all the lore and stories behind it you know can we help out in this transitional phase you know with these these spirits that are wandering or waking up to go to the next realm you know how can we evolve ourselves involve ourselves in this and are we supposed to like you know I'm really hesitant about a lot of this stuff um, I definitely want to explore into it deeper but you know there's always that mindset of you know just what if you know if they enter your body are they gonna possess you um, are you supposed to use your body to help them ascend get out of here um, there's a lot of different factors uh, when it comes to communicating with the spirits um, and how to do that but one of the key things and main reason why I'm making this uh, as I research this stuff is honoring um, is honoring those who have passed right those who you know those who you may um, have followed you know whether it be like a, a celebrity of some kind music me I like wrestling you know wrestling legends uh, actors actresses your grandmas your granddads um, even your parents uh, brothers and sisters you know whoever has transition you know honoring them um, and definitely a dream I had this morning was about that there's a lot of man, there's a lot of symbolisms in the dream in the quite many dreams that I had <laughs> last night going into uh, this morning but uh, um, it was an interesting encounter and it just this deity or whatever it was uh, made sure that I honored honored him uh, during the conflict that we were going through it was really weird it was like some kind of battle on this on a, on a ship 
or something water and the ship was um, going into the water and uh, the captain it was a captain uh, just said to honor me and that really stuck out quite a bit and that's kind of what uh, made this video is learning how to honor the dead and how do we do that right how do we do that um, a lot of Japan tradition I love Japanese so a lot of Japan's traditions are using memorabilia um, to honor them uh, on their birthday honor them during special occasions right and that could be as simple as a flower it could be their favorite uh, food dish um, alcohol a smell right just lighting a candle there's many different ways to honor honor them and it's it's very beautiful different and I never really grasped the idea because I've always had the selective mindset you know once they're gone that's it but learning the things I've learned over time it's a lot more complex um, uh, and uh, powerful spiritually um, and psychic psychically like mentally uh, through your experience in this physical reality of honoring uh, your loved ones and how that looks because like time doesn't exist so if time doesn't exist even if we feel that a loved one has moved on and we still live a day-to-day -day routine um, in the spiritual realm or just through those many different layers things have already transitioned to the next phase however that looks so honoring their energy or their memory sparks that uh, uh, memory into the ethers to keep going to keep flowing um, I really do feel again with all this research I've been doing this past year I really do feel that uh, that as we honor traditions or honor the explorations just like I've been doing on this channel since 2010 the explorations of history all the stuff we've been lied to you know all the hidden history that's been destroyed is coming back and that has to have some kind of source at the end of the day so when we're born into this world um, whether it's our first time on earth or many lifetimes on earth you know there's spirits that go into the womb this is deep stuff that go into the womb and give you information uh, that you're going to need further down or you just download it as you research so the deeper you go those memories of those uh, of those uh, guys or girls that were writing books and and uh, just really sticking out in history you know whether they were termed heresy or a heretic or um, blasphemy whatever it may be you know they were game changers and their their legacy continues through us right aware or unaware and I really do feel that as you research you see that legacy you study that legacy um, and then you continue their research even after they've passed on that's a game changer right there um, and honoring them is really hard because you have to find out who did it first and how to honor them but I think just alone continuing their research aware or unaware right you know there's a lot of information um, that I've gained uh, since 2010 and I don't know where the source comes from but it's there I share it um, and I think it's honored regardless of where it came from right and if you do discover then yeah honor them you know say their name you know that's one of the key things I've learned with with my brother true seeker is is honoring has been a key thing with what he's talking about and I've been um, implementing that into my daily life of honoring and learning like the the um, best way to do it <laughs> without it being selective 
and it's just honoring them through smell through a vision through continuing their journey um, their vision things like that you know there's a lot of things that happen at the end of the day so yeah so day of the dead is definitely something that we all need to research deeper into um, fill out the energies around you um, if you feel that there is uh, spirits around you uh, make sure that you pray for them and just uh, you know give them love and encouragement to continue to go forward right um, which is quite interesting but at the end of the day like I always tell my daughter <laughs> if you see if you see spirits and ghosts just leave them alone and they'll leave you alone and they'll move on but you can always send a prayer and your love and honor um, to them so for whatever reason they're there uh, showing themselves to you you know you can show them love and honor and maybe that's something they never experienced so that can kind of show them something or give them the energy to continue beyond the veil however that looks so yeah so I just want to share that with it being Day of the Dead like I said from the 27th or 28th of October all the way to the, about the 5th or 6th somewhere around there 4th, 5th, 6th of November um, it's a it's a week window um, it's very interesting it's something I'm going to continue to explore into next year so yeah so something to think about so love yourself keep shining bright and I'll talk to you later